he's done it all. He started off as a pharmacist, yeah, just a regular pharmacist in a pharmacy, and um, then he became pharmacy manager, and then an owner of a pharmacy, and then he went into pharmacy administration. And I really think he found his, his niche there because that's where he realized that this is how you advance pharmacy. And Derek is, you know, in that little group to, select, to, to push, push the envelope and, and move pharmacy along. Yeah, I first met Derek when he was head of the hiring committee that selected me as the CEO. So of course, I have nothing but great things to say about Derek. He was a tough cookie, I'll tell you, in that process. And it was clear that he was thorough and committed to his role as chair of the board, president of the board that year, and certainly put me through my paces. Derek was instrumental for me coming to pharmacy. He kind of inspires you to be better at, at what you do. He's the easiest guy to talk to. He's such so lighthearted. He's a funny guy and yeah, lots of positive energy. The Derek way is he doesn't, you ask a straight question, he doesn't start at n equal to zero. It has to be n minus 10, right? It has to be, and John was there, and then Peter who was married to Susan was there, and it was down this valley, and the sun was coming up, and then we went for dinner, and it's like, okay, now I get the visual. So he has to paint the whole visual. And uh, he's been involved at every level, from the provincial level to the national level. Uh, if it's something that can be done in pharmacy, chances are Derek has done it or is about to do it, so. He's very, very focused and determined and uh, he's committed to advancing the profession at all times. He loves the business aspect of it, he loves the practice aspect of it. He's a pharmacist through and through, no question. As far as I'm concerned, Derek is Mr. Pharmacy. He's a very special guy. Um, I really accredit a lot of like my work ethic to my dad. Um, he was an excellent role model. His work ethic, his self-initiation is absolutely amazing. Derek is detail-oriented. Derek is very, very well informed. Derek understands the profession as well as anybody. Uh, he's been involved in shaping the profession as we see it today for many years. And Derek's always been this rock who can figure his way through it. Derek's the one who's got the legislation down. And Derek's the one who knows what you need to do to get through this problem. And Derek's the one who's found his way through it. And Derek was the one who went and got trained to do injections before anybody knew they could possibly ever dream about doing injections. So Derek's been up at the forefront of quite a bit. And so when you think your world's falling apart, the simplest thing you need to do is call Derek. When he uh, comes into a room, he brings an energy that just lights up the whole, the whole room, and, and you can feel it. It's not just my imagination. I think I can, I can sense others feel that way too, and it makes people around him better. I think. I sensed that uh, 20 years ago. That's the same Derek. Come with a silly idea. It's like mm, not really sure. You bring it up to someone like Derek. He's very positive. He doesn't. He doesn't, his, his response is never to just say, "Oh no, that doesn't work." Because it's more about, hmm, "Yeah, that's a good idea," and then he'll kind of add a little bit of commentary and make you kind of think about it yourself. But I only hope, Derek, uh, that you don't take this as leave to kick back and retire because uh, we in the office and the profession, I would dare say, uh, needs you. But totally, totally uh, uh, one that he needs to be, to be recognized because in some ways his contribution might have been more subtle than others. Derek DeRosier, you are an extraordinary man. Derek, you're an extraordinary guy. An extraordinary man. It is a delight for me to say congratulations, Derek. Dad, you inspire me. I love you. Derek, you're an amazing guy. I love you very much. And congratulations on this wonderful award. You deserve it.